What's up guys, it's Trevor with Embers. Today we're reviewing the PK Special Edition Aaron Franklin Barbecue. This is a pretty stinking awesome charcoal grill. Let's roll. All right, first things first, make sure to subscribe our, to our channel. Helps us out a ton when you do that. If you're in the Denver, Colorado area, come to our showroom today. Okay, let's talk about PK grills. If you watch any of the master class on Aaron Franklin, when they're using barbecues or, or cooking steaks or anything like that, what's so cool is he uses these old school PK grills. So they've been around since the 1950s. This is like the OG, the original design. And it's really simple. There's actually not a lot to review here. I'll tell you, tell you some of the special edition features that you get with the Aaron Franklin model. But what's the selling point of this guy? Well, obviously the oval design is all cast aluminum, top and bottom. And then it kind of opens to the side, which is cool. So obviously the oval design is really conducive to offset cooking. Now, if you're not familiar with offset cooking, it means you're gonna have a, a, your fire or your charcoal here for high heat. And then you're gonna indirect cook over here um, for sort of a low and slow setting. And uh, this grill's really well designed for that because let's say you're gonna cook your charcoal right here. We have two air openings on the bottom that we adjust our air intake. And then on the top, we have two air adjustments here on the top and or on the top as well. So what we're gonna try is we're actually gonna take this outside. I got some pork tenderloins, it's gonna be pretty awesome. I think they're gonna turn out pretty good. But what I'm gonna do, is cook right here, have the, the intake open on the bottom, open, close this side and open this side so the smoke's pulling across the, the barbecue or the smoker here. Then I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sear them direct over the coals and then indirect cook them with that smoke pulling across and hopefully get some nice smoky flavor. That's where this grill's awesome is, is with this oval design, we can do a lot with it. And the way our air intake and outtake is designed, we can do a lot with controlling our smoke and controlling our temperatures, which is really cool. Now, what else is cool about this? You can see there's no gasket material or anything here. It just seals, self seals. And then probably the coolest thing I would say about this grill, minus the screws, these two screws here for your air intake, there is no hardware in the actual body of this grill. Check this out. Our hinge system is completely removable. Look at that. Now here's what's really cool. Probably my favorite thing about this grill is, let's say you're out and about or you're taking it camping or whatever, they sell a little, a little kit for this where there's a stand for this that this just sets in and then another cooking accessory for here. And then you have two grills. You just got two open grills with air intake on the bottom. That is really awesome. So you can turn two grills into one with that accessory, which is super cool. But obviously without any hardware, there's nothing that can really go, go wrong with this thing. It's pretty much bulletproof, which is really sweet. Then of course you get the stand. They do make it in sort of a travel size and then sort of their, I don't think they call it pro, but an even bigger model, but this is like the OG size. So what do you get with the special edition Aaron Franklin? Well, of course you get this awesome teal color. And then I think there's like a glitter, it's not glitter. Glitter is not the right word, but it's sort of a metallic blue. The standard model only comes with one side shelf. So the Aaron Franklin model, we get two side shelves. We sort of get this belly bar, which is nice because we can hang our accessories or towels right from the front of this, which actually is handy. And then down here on the bottom, we have these tray holders. Now this is cool, check this out. So here's, here's a tray, for example. You set your tray right there when you're done or before, and then they're ready, stored, and nice and handy. So that's the PK grill. Like I said, not a lot to break down. You can get cast iron grill, grill grates as an accessory, but not a lot to break down here. I think the really only way to tell if this is gonna be an awesome grill is to cook on it. Should we get cooking on it, Chris? Let's go. Let's fire this up. These tenderloins are gonna be awesome, I promise you. Let's go. So you can see we're in our messy kitchen. We're almost done with construction, guys. Skillet top's going right here. You see a lot of awesome videos in here. But for now, we gotta make do with our prep work in here. We got some pork loins. And 
May look pretty good. I thought Portnoy would be good to try this because we want to offset it. So the oval design of the PK grills is great for offset co cooking. And the reason it's so good for that is we can offset. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook right above fire to sear this pork loin. You wanna sear your pork loin because the number one problem with pork loin is it dries out. So you gotta get good sear. PK Grill's gonna handle that and then we're gonna set it to the side and let it roast or cook, kind of offset cook um, over the PK. All right, let's season these. Now with pork, I like to do sweet and spicy. And nothing better than Mr. Beavis. We'll put links below if you want a Mr. Beavis product. So they have Ghost, which is the second spiciest, Habanero, third spiciest, Original, least spiciest, or Reaper, which is ripping hot. So I'm gonna do these two with Reaper. Now get in here, you can see, I'm gonna go crazy. You can see a lot of sugar in it, so it's, it's a really delicious rub because it's sugary, but crazy spicy. And the sugar kind of caramelizes in pork, Sweetness and pork, absolutely delicious. That's why you see people do a lot of apple juice, marinades, or sweet marinades, because the sweetness really goes well with pork. All right, man, these chimney starters work pretty good. Look at this. These things are white hot. You ready, Chris? Ready. So we got two air openings. I'm gonna close this one off because I want that smoke pulling this way. Let's see how these babies are gonna sear up. Oh yeah, let's do two at a time. <coughs> oh man, that was spicy. <laughs> so we're gonna get a nice sear on them first. Let them char up. There we go. Now we're getting some nice crunchy sear marks. All right, I'm gonna move these over. And put them over here. Just kind of let these do their thing. And I'm going to spray them with some apple cider vinegar. Keep those nice and moist. Oh, that's a good one there. Might as well use the rest of this sauce up. All right, we just flipped them to get some nice grill marks on here. Again, we're trying to get a hot sear. You can hit it quick, Rand, and see what it's at. That's 700 right there on the grate. They're just not looking like they're searing that good. They are though. See what you think. Yeah, coals are over 700. Yeah, 760. All right. Now we're just gonna let them offset cook. I'll come and rotate them every so often. Keep, cause they're obviously gonna be hotter on this side. So I'm gonna flip them. Now we just let them sort of bake, so to speak. All right, let's pull these. Look at these bad mamas. Oh my goodness. That's some pork loin right there. All right, I'm gonna cut it right in the middle. Oh yeah, look at that. Let's see if we kept our juices. Oh yeah, it's juicy still, Chris. All right, I kind of like the ends. So I like that crunch. Let's see how spicy they are. Hmm. This is the plain one. Or the classic rub. Not too spicy. Let's try it again. All right, let's try the spicy one. Ooh, I just got some heat to it, but it is so good. All right, I'm gonna try a little apple chipotle, so a sweet barbecue sauce with this super spicy, super spicy rub. Oh, oh man, that is money. That's the PK Grill, guys. 
Awesome little, awesome little cooker. Simple, old school, delicious. Those are my three words to describe it. <laughs> Stay tuned for more.